What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the new The Walking Dead Michonne Tracer Pack Operator Bundle here in Modern Warfare 3, Modern Warfare Zombies, and Warzone. Yes, this is a limited time bundle, so make sure you guys claim this bundle within about a month, and then it should be expired by then, so make sure you guys get it sooner than later. Alright, and here's a look at the Operator, which looks very nice. Obviously it's going to be pretty simple because it's, you know, from The Walking Dead, so you're not going to see nothing all flashy and crazy, but I'm a big fan of that. I love simple operators. We get an MCW, a longbow, dual Kodachis, a weapon sticker, a large decal, a finishing move, and a weapon charm. All right, let's go ahead and claim this bundle up. 2,400 cop points. Let's do it. Here's the selection screen once you click on her. First, let's see what she does. <laughs> a stealthful walk. <laughs> and here's a little quip. And here's what everything looks like in a third person view. Quick little weapon inspect. Really cool. And here's a weapon inspect for the longbow as well. Dang! Nice little cool clean finishing move. So it's just regular dismemberment. Well, not really dismemberment, they just disappear. And here's the longbow. Longbow is already a good weapon. And here's a look at everything in slow motion for you guys. Yeah, so. Seems like. And here's a look at everything in first person real quick. And here's the longbow. Yeah, I don't, I don't really notice anything different with the tracers. I want to say they have like a, a sound effect to them. But other than that, I don't really notice anything. Maybe there might be something special in zombies. I don't know, but from the looks of it, everything just looks pretty simple. And here's the finishing move. And here's a look at everything in slow motion. And the finishing move, look at that. <laughs> That's a pretty cool finishing move. I totally forgot about the melee weapons as well. So here's a quick little weapon inspect as well. And supposedly has a dismemberment too, the same like effect. Yeah, so they disappear as well, which is really cool. Cause I like when we have melee weapons that have a dismemberment. So that's really cool to me actually or death effect. And here's a quick look at it in slow motion as well. <laughs> and here's a look at everything in a third person view in zombies. And yeah, pretty much same little tracer effect. Nothing unique. You know, some little sparkles, a little sound effect and then they just disappear I mean yeah I mean well that's the zombies dismemberment but yeah so pretty much the exact same as multiplayer as you guys can see here and here's the skin in third person pretty cool and here's a longbow dang <laughs> and here we are in the exfil just trying to get some more kills oh perfect Get a mangler kill real quick. Oh shoot. Let's see if there's any cool effects. Oh, I can't really notice. Yeah, it looks pretty just basic. Nothing you really notice with this tracer pack. And here's what the mangler is like with the longbow. <laughs> Alright, and now here's the melee weapons in Zombies. Oh, it seems like the weapon inspect seems to be a little bit glitched in game. Or at least for Zombies, because it was working in multiplayer, huh? Hmm, interesting. But it works in a third person view. Here, see so you guys see? Hmm, that was interesting. <laughs> and here's what it looks like for Hellbound kills. Oh, what? 
Yeah, so they just disappear. For the Minglers, I feel like I saw like something. And here's what it looks like in a third person view. Oh, Mangler. Hold on. I'm coming for you, boy. <laughs> yeah, so you don't really notice anything when it comes with the melee weapons for the Mangler. Oh, there you go. And that was everything in zombies. Really nice. Oh, let me get you too. <laughs> Here's the build for the MCW. And here are the multiplayer camels. Which do look... Cool. So I like how you can still see the blood. Ah, And then it goes right away once you put on Mastery Camels. Dang, that sucks. That sucks. So it covers up the whole gun, essentially. And then, you know, you have the stickers and the large decal that stays. But dang, that does suck. And here are the Event Camels, too. Yeah, so it's a hit or miss. Some of the event camels you can see the detailing. And for that more animated ones, you really can't see anything. And here's the build for the longbow. And here are the multiplayer camels. And pretty much the same thing goes for this one. Yeah. All gets covered up. Same with zombies. You know, I hope they could eventually do this one day where you can actually see the detailing while having the mastery camo on. I know that that'll probably be pretty hard to do. So that's probably why it's not <laughs> available for us to do. But I don't know. Who knows? Maybe they'll figure it out. I don't know. But overall, looks clean with camels though. And here's the camels for the melee weapon as well. Oh, look at that. And this is the MW2 uh, blueprint too. I didn't have this Orion. I thought I got Orion for this. But you can still see the detailing all across the whole thing. Except for the blood. Wait. No, no, you can't see the blood. I mean, you can kind of see a little bit of the blood. Like little indents. And here are the event camels. Yeah, see, you can see. Oh, I just, I just noticed. That's not blood. Those are like the characters or zombies on there. Wow, that's actually really cool. I didn't even notice that. I But it was covered in blood, though. Yeah, so overall, hey, the bundle is it's cool. I mean, I'm, it's whatever's to me. I, I always get the limited time bundles. This is what I do for you guys. That way you guys can have a clear, detailed look at what you guys might purchase. That's why I make these bundle reviews. But overall, it's like I'll give it like a 6.5 out of 10. I mean, I know it's supposed to be pretty basic for a bundle, especially since, you know, it's a crossover. So it's going to be as realistic to the crossover as possible. So I obviously don't expect anything too flashy. We don't need any more MCW blueprints. I feel like there's so many other weapons that could have gotten into this bundle instead of the MCW. Like we already have a ton of MCW blueprints and this blueprint looks pretty much similar to the Ultra Skin, that Santa Claus bundle. Yeah, it's pretty much the exact same thing, just a little different. So, and then we also get the dismemberment or the death effect on it. And there's not, nothing really going on with the death effect except they just disappear. So I don't know if that happens. I, I don't watch The Walking Dead, so I don't know if there's something like that that happens or whatever. It just doesn't seem like nothing really unique happens there. The finishing move is decent nothing too crazy and yet again as i've been saying it seems like we're only getting finishing moves for limited time bundles or crossover bundles and not mainline bundles that we get in the store regularly i hope that they can change that up because i do miss finishing moves and i hopefully treyarch can cook i'm, I'm waiting for gulf war because treyarch tends to make the best bundles as we saw from cold war cold wars bundles were insane with the finishing moves and everything so let me know what you guys think about this bundle should you guys get it? I say yes because it is a limited time bundle. But if you can care less about limited time bundles, you can care less. You just want a cool tracer pack, dismemberment, finishing move, and an operator. Hey, if you if you feel like you're good on this one, hey, you don't have to get it, honestly. You really don't. I don't see anything really too special with it other than it being a limited time crossover bundle. So that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching Jex Gaming. Make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and stay tuned for more bundle reviews. And I'll see you guys on the next one. I'm signing out. Peace.